As we transition into fall and early winter, storm systems become more and more common. These can bring rain, hail, wind, and even lightning. But how does lightning occur? Well, ahead of a storm system, warm, moist air rises up from the surface, supplying the energy that storms need to develop. As the storm grows taller and taller, water droplets in the highest part of the cloud actually freeze into small ice particles and begin to collide with liquid water droplets. This collision of ice pellets and water droplets creates positive and negative electrical charges within the cloud. The stronger the storm, the higher up it goes in the sky and the more electrical charges it has. Eventually, the charges orient themselves where the positive charges are at the top of the cloud and the negative charges are at the bottom of the cloud with more positive charges down at the surface. Now, when energy from positive and negative charges meet, we get a flash of lightning in the cloud that doesn't touch the ground. However, the negative charges at the bottom of the cloud can find a positive charge at the surface, which results in a lightning strike that hits the ground. These are the strikes that cause thunder because they're moving so fast they actually break the sound barrier. And remember, if you're outside and you hear thunder, it's time to go inside. If you're close enough to hear thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. Lightning can actually travel 10 miles away from a storm. And remember, if you're curious about how the weather works, send us a question. We'd love to answer it right here for you next week. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Trevor Burchett. WeatherWise is brought to you by Four County Electric Power Association.